the the mana cost for a lot of these units that we're talking about are so high in the warrior. Yeah, but the Corcorans are very good against Shaman. It'll kill a Spirit Wolf and usually yeah. draw another card from uh, Strife's hand. So I, I would expect the Warrior over the Miracle. Yep, and it looks like that's what he's yeah. picking. Exactly what he does. Okay, I think we've seen the Warrior beat the Shaman earlier today, right? Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah. And, and, you know, Chalky's version looks like it's actually very well set up to beat Shaman as well. I mean, the Corcorans are good against... Uh, Unbounds. They're also good against golems and <laughs> uh, feral spirits as well. Got the double armor smith too. You know, recently I think some people have been dropping armor smith. One armor smith. Yeah, when uh, warrior was super popular, or not warrior, uh, hunter was super popular last season. The mm -hmm. stampeding Kodo made armor smith kind of a liability. Oh yes. But absolutely. with hunter dropping off, I mean, armor smith is back with a vengeance. So. And there he is. Throws it on the board and. And Argent Squire doesn't Throw look so down. strong anymore, man. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the Flame Titan uh, can't even answer it either. So it, this is a, you know, it's kind of a little bit tough for Strife. And is he gonna? Okay, he's gonna go ahead and point. He's gonna point. He's gonna point anyways. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He's got two good three drops. He's got a lot of options next turn. Well, he's got a couple options next turn, and uh, he's looking at a turn four Yeti after, you know two three drops and a one drop so he's going to be able to curve out very nicely. shaki has got a nice answer in the form of the fiery war axe. Uh, going to be able to just remove that harvest gone completely. Yeah, that's a it's a pretty good play for Chalky. I mean, he's able to get basically really good value out of both cards already. And uh, mm -hmm. Strife doesn't actually have that great a play here after that fiery war axe. Yeah, he's not going to want to play the Unbound the, Elemental, that's for sure. Yeah. You can throw down the Flame Tongue, clear the Armor Smith, but then Chalky just gets to clear the Flame Tongue back with the Axe. If he throws down the Unbound Elemental, Chalky will just throw the Axe and the Armor Smith into it. Oh, this is interesting. So he's going to go ahead and do it. Not going to get that much value from this card, but it will absorb one of the, the, uh, the Axe Swings, uh, as well as... Remove potentially remove the armor smith, which would be, you know, yeah, pretty key probably, element there. It probably will. Um, yeah. I actually kind of like this play because yeah. he doesn't have any overload cards in his hand, so the unbound elemental is just going to be a two four for a while. Yeah, you kind of got to play oh, what's immediately in your hand type of uh, type of thing, yeah. and shock has got some choices. Flame tongue. Yeah, which is I think a lot better in this situation. Okay, so interesting play here now for Chalky. Uh, he could play another Armor Smith and Armor Up. Um, the Unbound Elemental. And that's a, I don't know, do you see any other choice? I guess he could Shield Block too. What do you, what do you think? Uh, I, I think you definitely Armor Smith and Armor Up. But he actually has the option of also hitting the 1-1 one -one with his Armor Smith first. That mm -hmm. is a little dangerous because Strife Crow could have Feral Wolves. Most likely, he's just going to clear the 2-4. Yeah, I think that's the yeah, safest thing. That's the safest and probably the, the best play as well, even though you do lose the the Armorsmith. And as expected, he's doing things in the right order. Yeah, you maximize. always want to swing first. Going to get rid of that armor Ooh. so that the... He went with the Execute. Ooh. He went with the Execute. Uh, wow. I mean, there aren't... Wow, <laughs> that's really surprising. For one damage is is very surprising. Yeah, I mean, he did get a chance to see a lot of Strife's deck um, last turn, but I mean, there are Yetis in this deck. There are Fire Elementals in this deck. Uh, well, I think there's even Azure Drakes nope. in this deck. Yeah, he's got Drakes and Fire Elementals. I don't know if he saw Yeti last game, did he? Maybe he didn't, but there are definitely a lot of targets it. to have to um, execute that yeah. armor smith. So I feel like that was maybe a the little bit. Smithy. Of an overreach on, on Chalky's part, hmm. that uh, I mean, that armor smith wasn't going to give him a ton of value. It's not like Strife is like racing him down for damage either. So yeah. I mean, throwing throwing this the armor smith away for yeah, basically one damage versus using execute for also just one damage, I think was probably a little bit better. Yeah, that that. Yeti is going to be really difficult for him to, to remove here. He has got none of his removal cards. 
Um, you know, they execute again, having the flexibility and using it on something bigger at the expense of the armor. Smith would have, you know, he might be kicking himself right now. He, he did kind of hold his face there for a second. So uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit frustrated, like, yeah. I think, in his last play. But we'll like, see how he recovers here. Instant migraine. is. Uh, <laughs> I, my, know I know how that there. feels, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Oh. It's like, oh, this is like a fine play. Oh. Never mind. Well, I, I feel bad now. <laughs> right. Okay, so he's going to play the Acolyte, so give, give him a chance to draw something. Um, yeah. The Eddie will just clear out. Actually, it might clear out the uh, Armorsmith, even. Yeah, I think he would clear so, the Armorsmith first. Well, he's got a Rock Biter now, too, so he doesn't really yeah. have to choose. He might actually yeah. double Yeti here. Yeah, pretty easy. Clear the Armorsmith, Rock Biter the uh, Acolyte, and then drop another Yeti. Hmm. And uh, I think that's a pretty clear play. I mean, clearly Chalky didn't really have any way to answer the first Yeti. Yeah. So it's going to be unlikely that he can answer two of them. Okay, and this is looking pretty rough for Chalky right now. He's going to need to draw like a Shield Slam or something. Something to really deal with uh, these these minions on the board. And a Corcoran, okay, a Corcoran is something that you can at least... And a Shield Slam. Yeah. Man. Wow. Yeah. A hell of a draw right there. <laughs> uh, a Corkot That and gives a him a place to do both Yetis yeah. in one go, which is pretty insane. He went from being not being able to clear one Yeti to easily clearing both of them. <laughs> which is pretty pretty crazy. Okay, so I think he's going to take it. I think it's pretty. It's too good to pass up here. Um, you know, Corkron, be nice when you can remove totems and stuff, but come on. I mean, if you can remove... Only has three cards in his hand right now. Yeah, and they're actually kind of low impact. Mm -hmm. Well, they they're, uh, they're they're buffing cards, so they actually need yeah. need minions on they the board before they're things. Yeah, completely yeah. effective so, here. I wonder if he's gonna go with just the defender, or if he's gonna throw down like the sun or the flame tongues. Okay, he's gonna nice. go for uh, defender, kind of a more of an active type of uh, play versus no, the the flame tongues a little bit more passive, right? Um, yeah. Let's see. Chalky here. He's got the Baron, but you know you really want to save Baron for uh, just a board clear. Yeah, board clear with a whirlwind, that sort sort of thing. Yeah. I think shield block here is correct. Like he's yeah looking at you know kind of basically a lot of different options that draw him cards, and I think yep. shield block is the most neutral one because he might have wanted to save that slam for next turn depending on what he drew. Yeah, so he gets he gets a Taskmaster down at the very least. It's uh, it'd be be pretty tough for him not to have any kind of board presence here, uh, if if the shaman you know the shaman can kind of snowball here if he he gets the right draws can tote him up can get like three or four minions on the board after this turn, so having the Taskmaster can kind of help out especially if he needs to play Baron, and uh, can help remove that three three health unit there. Yeah, that's for sure. And uh, you know, right here Baron Geddon is. Not really that great, even though it yeah, killed agreed. those two things. Like he, he can clear out a couple of totems, but that flame tongue lives and that uh, harvest golem still lives. Not even damaged, but uh, yeah. Looks like you, know, you think Argent uh, Commander here. Uh, what do you think? You know the Argent isn't fantastic. Like the Baron Geddon is kind of the best of the worst options. <laughs> best of the worst. Oh yeah. man, that's that's rough. I mean, it's it's pretty rough just because, like, he it's figures that Geddon is only going to get two totems and the first half of the Harvest Golem, but sometimes it's kind of like the best you're going to get. Man, I'm feeling an air totem. I'm looking at that Earth Shock and looking <laughs> like it's going to be it's going to be meant from that uh, that Argent Commander that's coming up here. So he's going to go ahead and flame tongue totem. Remove that Baron Geddon for uh, with the Harvest Golem. Really good value for him there. And Strife's looking pretty good here, man. It's got eight damage on the board, yeah. and you know that's just that's one of the board clearing options that the Warrior has. Oh, he drew a Brawl though. That's a really good draw for Chalky. He, he can play an Acolyte too with it. That's huge. Yeah, I don't think you even need to like just no, throw no, it no, on I the mean, Brawl. Like after, after. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's on like, the Brawl. It doesn't even matter what, what. Minion survives. Either he's going I to be down it. to a two one <laughs> or a zero power minion. That's right. Like <laughs> none of those things are that good by itself. Yeah. So 
this is really good for him. I, you know, it's four minions. You know, you're gonna gonna remove three of them. Oh, okay. So he's gonna actually go with the. Wow. Okay. He's gonna go with the um, the Argent Commander. Uh, he's gonna keep the bubble so he doesn't pop it. Removes uh, one of the Flame Tongue Totem. And I think the I think the reasoning behind it is is he, does he just want to try to get some more value with the brawl or what do you think? I mean I don't know why he wouldn't just throw down the brawl there. I mean I understand that he's already used Geddon, so it's not exactly like the best situation for it mm -hmm. because you, you don't have any way to clear all the totems anymore. But I mean, Strike used one defender already, and he's used yeah. both flame tongue totems. So now the giant mass of totems actually doesn't really do that much anymore. I mean, maybe he's considering that he he's not able to actually remove like a fire elemental. You know, he's not getting crazy value out of it, and you know, it could be just a value play. He's got plenty of health, so he can uh, he can probably delay for a little bit of time too. Get either two flame tongues or like a flame tongue and a damage golem. Or yeah. two flame tongues and a damage golem. <laughs> True. Yeah, okay, so I was lot. talking about that Urshock, man. <laughs> yeah, the Urshock on the, uh, probably the commander, actually. Yeah, it was meant I mean, for the commander. Oh, no, it's not. He's going to go uh, go ahead and... Okay, so he's going ahead and silence the so Acolyte. He's not, and he's not going to give him a draw from it. Okay. All right, so he's going to value the, the one draw a little bit more than, you know, I guess five damage. And the healing totem. Yeah. Okay. And his totems are sa still safe from Baron Geddon, so that's actually not too bad. Wow, that fiery war axe is a really good draw for Chalky. He kills it off is. the flame tongue totem, and now they're kind of in a top deck war. Strife hasn't played a fire <laughs> element yet, but Chalky's got all the big things in in control warriors. So. And he's got the brawl too. You know, now that he's saved the brawl. Uh, he can really buy a lot of time here. Uh, the, the only totems that Stripe's going to be throwing up are really zero to one damage totems. He doesn't have Bloodlust, so Chalky really doesn't have to worry about much on the board here. He can just take his time, honestly. Yeah, and that uh, that damage golem is not even really doing damage to him. I mean, he'll, you probably hero clear power. it here yeah. anyways. Yeah, and just hero power up. Stripe's only got a couple charges left on that, uh, mm -hmm. that Doomhammer. Basically... Two more turns of swings with that Doom Hammer. But, uh. Yeah, he's he's not to even gonna it. bother with that damage. Yeah, I don't even think you need to remove it. Okay, there we go. So here's a Fire Elemental, and this is. This is gonna bait or tempt Chalky, I think, into, uh. Oh, he's not gonna play it yet. I was gonna say, if he played it, it, it would bait the Brawl a little bit more. Oh, is he gonna play it? He is gonna play it. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, you gotta get some damage out there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, it it kind of makes sense. You're protect. You did roll a taunt totem, so you're protected from like a slam. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, this this brawl is gonna mostly clear the board. Yeah, and this is you know he's gonna get more value from this potentially if he keeps the fire elemental. He's gonna get very little value from from this. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see. Ooh, slam it. Okay. Oh, it's very interesting. I guess he just wanted the draw. I think I would have just brawled there because you yeah, get you, you get either Grom get the or fire something. Ellie. Yeah. yeah, you could get Grom or something, but you get the fire Ellie, and then you can just like if even if it wins the brawl, you can slam it and clear afterwards. Man, he really wants to get some crazy value. He's gonna go ahead and take the damage here. Um, yeah, not bad, right? I mean, I, I think taking the damage might not be a Bad yeah. decision because the shaman again doesn't have a ton of range. He doesn't have Alkira at the end of this either. Doomhammer is pretty much the big, big, uh, just that extended range finish that the that, that he relies on. And yeah. I think Chucky time, knows. Right? This. Yeah, that's seems like it. possible. At the same time, he is getting pretty low, and Strife has only used one Rockbiter. If he had Rockbiter, Life Lightning Bolt, he ends up putting Chucky to two. Yeah. If he just goes uh, for the face, so. Okay, so it looks like he swung one time. He is taking his time with the swings there. Let's see. Um, oh, there's a Whirlwind. Uh, oh, that's a really good draw for Chucky. Yeah, and he's got the Cork Run, too, which can actually push, you know, kind of remove another one of those totems, too. So uh, Yeah, I don't think they'll remove the totems, just because he's already seen the Defender. Mm, he's seen both Flame Tongues. I mean, that might be what he's saving the Brawl for, as a Defender of Argus play. 
But uh, Whirlwind removes basically all of Strife Crow's damage, and you know he can start getting in with that Corcoran if he needs to. Yeah, he can actually play the BGH too if he. Um, there's not yeah. going to be any targets at this point. Very there's true. no Flame Song. There's nothing that's going to be seven. I think he doesn't really want to just throw the BGH out there until after the brawl, just because it'll die to Earth Shock or just a hit from the Doom Hammer. Okay, uh, so no brawl there. He's going to Whirlwind. Um, going to push damage, like you said, over the over the totems. And there's the Rock Biter. Oh, man, it's yeah, really Strife's close. Four right? damage off. Yeah, he's four damage off here. Close, though, man. That's really close. Look at think, <laughs> Strife. I think Strife. you really need to Lightning Bolt that Corcoran. Yeah, I think so, too. Just, just to get it out of the way. Like, the Rock Biter is sweet draw, but... I mean, you don't really have a whole lot of leeway here if you just let him keep hitting you. I don't, man. I, I, uh, I he's gonna be holding on to the Doom Hammer, and does he have one more Rock Biter? I forget. No, he uses a Rock Biter to clear to use something. It, right. So I don't even know if he has enough range to, you know, with the Hero Power continuing to give armor to Chalky. Uh, you know, he's losing ground right now. You know, there's only one damage on the board, and okay, so there's the Fire Elemental. Strike. Okay. Fire Elemental is going to definitely help out and, and give him a chance if the brawl... I'm thinking he might brawl. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has to brawl at this turn. Like, he doesn't have... Like, I guess he could... Uh, we said he can like shield snap with a Fire Alley, actually. And save the brawl for a Feral Spirit. Oh, like, you're right. Actually, yeah. Bad. Oh, he's going to execute now, too. Well, so... yeah. He, he can just shield slam the, the Fire Alley. And that's probably yeah. what he's going to do. And we're gonna get into a fatigue situation right here. Uh, I think pretty quickly here, and it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be favoring Chalky. Chalky hasn't even drawn some of his big units. Yeah, neither of these players uh, has had that much card draw. And right as I say that, of course, Strife draws a, 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 a Azer Drake. But okay. Strife's yeah. got some additional damage now that he has the Argent Commander. In his hand, he can Argent Commander and he can Rock Biter. That gives him mm, up to eight, eight to nineteen. If he doesn't do anything he just about this, has another answer though. He's he just <laughs> he has drawn answer after answer. This is crazy. So he's, I mean, he can hit the Drake and execute it. And at this point, there really aren't a whole lot of big targets for him to execute anymore. And then that armor up works. and goes basically that twenty-two. Out. Yeah, that works out really, really great for him because if he had to brawl there. Then the Arctic Commander is going to have a free board just to hit oh, face. Yeah. Uh, oh my and gosh! Strike for another. It's, this brawl is never going to get played. I'm, I'm sure Chalky is thinking, "Where the heck are my Drakes?" <laughs> I know. Where's his like oh, Alex Straza and his Gromish and his? Where are those cards? Well, well, he's he's actually not running Alex, but yeah, he's running Grom and and uh, Rag and I mean I'm sure he's running Rag, Rag. right? Oh, there's well, there, it. Okay, there it is. Uh, I mean, gosh, it's so dangerous to not brawl here just because... No, he has, he's got it. With, okay, he, he does he's end up brawling. Right, oh, no. Just showing, okay, there we with go. just a rock, Strife is showing 15. So yep. he kind of just had to throw that out there. And wow, Drake, Drake draws another Drake, so... Yeah, <laughs> Drake draws another Drake. Okay, let's see if Strife can get an air totem here that gives him plus one for the... Fireball. This, well, is, this is just answer after answer here. Yeah, he's already got the his own oh, answer. Yeah, he already has his signature Drake. You're right. So, wow, and he top oh, decks. Great draw. Oh, Chalky. <laughs> this is okay. Let's see what let's see what the top of the deck show gives Chalky here. Oh, not quite as good, but he does have a draw with the Azure uh, Drake. And that whirlwind actually isn't that bad. He Shield does block? quite Shield a bit draw? of draw. Like he, he could draw another whirlwind. He could draw. Well, didn't didn't quite get there. I think uh, Strife doesn't quite have lethal. Yeah. But uh, he's certainly going to get a very large advantage if he just goes oh, home. Feral spirit. Feral wow. Spirits. Maybe seal this game. I mean, his be... last five draws have been what? Like, it's been Drake, Drake, Drake Fire Elemental. Oh, yeah. Bolt, Fire Ellie, and Unbound, and now Feral. And Argent Commander, too. Oh, my God. And Argent Commander. Yeah. Crazy draws right there. 
man, it's Chalky. Come down to the wire so far. I mean, I think Chalky is going to need a, an eight to the face, <laughs> a yellow rag to the a double yellow rag to the. Well, does he die? He might die He's actually. Next looking turn. at uh, sixteen and damage on 24. the board. He's got so, ten from the rock biter, two from the um, the doom hammer. So well, he yeah, doesn't know about 20. the extra rock biter in Trice's hand. He has to figure that it's some pretty close, right? Yeah, he so needs this, to hit something with damage, actually. So four okay. out of seven might live another turn. Okay, well he got two, and he hero powered, right? Yeah, so he hero powered, so he definitely can stay alive, I think. Hex! Oh, oh my gosh. Man, Stripe. Look at the smile, Stripe. Stripe's got a smile. He's got a smile after that, too. Uh, Just crack a smile. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Stripe's... This I is mean, a, this is pretty, pretty good for Chalky here. Last card for Chalky is Gromish, right? Oh, look at yeah. Chalky. He's kind of moving uncomfortable in his seat after that move there. And uh, Strife, I don't see there being any card that Chalky can can yeah, the last uh, card draw is, to clear the board here. Yeah, yeah. Last card is Gromish. Yeah, last card is Gromish. Oh, that's so brutal. You know, even if Strife Bro never plays another card, I don't think Chalky can win. Because he's staring down 14... Yeah, he's turning down 15 damage, and he has to clear some damage, maybe hero power as well, but he still knows that Strife's only played one Rock Biter. I'm sure he's very aware of that. Yeah, and... Uh, kind of has to hope and pray. All right, doesn't play the Whirlwind. Uh, but there we go. It's gonna be... And he draws another Argent Commander. Man, so many answers there at the end for, for Strife. It was just like big minion after big minion, or mid middle mid range to big minion after big minion at the end there. So, uh, pretty tough loss for Chalky. I mean, he had control. I think he was looking in good shape. He saved.